smoke your cushion. Don't let nobody beat you out your cool. All right, so what's up, everybody? Welcome to Cushion Coffee Talk. Um, this episode, I want to talk about... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, I want to talk about the menstrual cycle. Yeah, bleeding. I want to talk about your pussy bleeding. And I pretty much want to talk about... um. Like all the shit that comes with your period from um, what you use, like pads and tampons, pads versus tampons. Um, I honestly, I hate both of them. I hate pads and I hate tampons um, for different reasons, for various reasons. Um, for one, I think they are terrible for your vagina. Um, pads, pads, I feel like they stifle my vagina. I don't know about anybody else, but I just feel like my pussy is not breathing. Like, I just feel like she is being, um, muffled by cotton. And then when I take it off, it's like, <gasps> like, I feel like your pussy needs oxygen. So that was my my issues with pads now i converted to tampon use and i kind of oh i kind of digged it in the beginning but then i felt my pussy changing and it's like okay this ain't healthy either sticking a stick up there and then you think about it you stick a stick up there okay and it's just sitting there and just sucking in all this blood and all of the waste and everything that's that's that your body is shedding all of it is just sitting there same thing with a pad like all of it is just sitting on you it's just on you it's just on you and it, you just feel disgusting and you feel like everybody can just see the blood on you you feel squishy you feel self-conscious you don't you know it's just a lot that comes with pads and tampons. They, I feel like they cause depression. Like, this shit is deeper than rap. So, um, my sister had been telling me about the Diva Cup. And she has been using it for over two years now. Now, anybody that tells me that they've been using something for over two years, that means that that product is fucking bomb. So, I decided to get one. So let me find a little cup. So since I bought it, my cycle hasn't come on yet. So I have not been able to try it yet. But, uh -huh, my cycle is on the way. Miss Mary is on her way. So I will be using my Diva Cup as soon as she arrives. Now, as soon as I find my Diva Cup, I will be able to show you what the fuck it looks like. I lost my menstrual cup. Okay, so this is the Diva Cup. Nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, nothing shiny, no glitter, no funky colors, no nothing. Literally, when you buy it, it's a box with a booklet, a baggie, and your Diva Cup. Now, the Diva Cup comes in two sizes, I believe. They either have two or three sizes, but what I saw is two sizes. You got a number one and a number two. This is a number two. Number one cup is smaller, I think, and it's a little more narrow for you smaller pussy bitches. Um, no, I'm just playing. It's for women who are between the ages of 18 and 29 who technically haven't had kids. That, that cup is for you. Now, for you big pussy bitches like myself, use cup number two. Cup number two is a little bit wider. Um, that's for women who are 30 and up and you have had children. So your vagina is 
you know, a little different. Um, yeah, so it's just this little cup right here. Um, I have not used this yet. So this is a brand new cup. I advise that you boil it when you first get it, boil it because you're gonna be sticking this up in your vagina. So I advise that you boil it. Um, I don't know if you can see the cup. It has little markings in it and it shows you, the markings are the fluid ounces or milliliters. So you can kind of measure how much your, um, your blood flow is. Um, yeah, so this is it. I thought it was gonna be more contraptions. I thought more was gonna come in it, come with it. Nothing, literally this, this, and a little instruction booklet. Um, in the instruction booklet, it shows you there's two ways you can insert it. You can either fold it like a, like a U and, you know, make like a little tampon almost, stick it up there and then it's gonna pop open. So it's, you know, this is, this is, this is your like vagina. So you stick it in there and push it and it opens up. So it's gonna catch the blood and this little part is gonna be hanging out your pussy like a little bit. So when it's time to grab it, you can pull and you're gonna pinch the cup to break the suction and then you just, you know, ease that cup on out of there. And from what I understand, that's how it's supposed to work. I have not tried this yet. And um, to be honest, a couple of my fears with this thing is I don't wanna be, I don't wanna leak for one. That is the number one thing with periods. I feel like women are so self-conscious. Um, I, I'm, I'm guilty of it myself. I don't know how many times I've gotten up and asked whoever, is there something on my butt? Do you see any any spots, any any anything? Like, I hate that. I hate that. I like to be able to go out and just, I don't feel like a period is supposed to stop whatever you're doing. You're supposed to be able to function normally. You're supposed to be able to live your life normally with a period because that's just a part of being a woman. And I don't feel like it should be a, a time where you get depressed and um, sad and you feel ugly and fat and this, that, and the third. And I honestly feel like all of that stuff comes with using pads or tampons. I feel like your vagina is not um, fully being able to express everything in a flow because it's either being clogged up by a tampon or it's, you're just sitting in a pool of your own blood. So yeah, that's depressing. Yeah, it makes you self-conscious. It makes you, you know, I don't know. It just, it just feels weird. So that's why I'm kind of um, optimistic about using the Diva Cup because I feel like it gives you so many freedoms on so many levels and I feel like it's healthier. I feel like it's a lot healthier and I haven't even tried it yet. Just the, um, just the thought of it and the concept, I feel like it, it, it will work better for me. Um, the, what else am I worried about? Leakage and, um, comfort. Um, I've, had a baby before so I know that the vagina is a magical place the vagina is a magical specimen and she can do many tricks and she is um, capable of withstanding a lot of pain and stretching and um, yeah she can do a lot. She's very flexible. So, um, I was kind of worried about sticking it up there, but then I thought about like, bitch, I pushed a big ass baby out my vagina and that bitch was only 10 centimeters. I don't even know if this is 10 centimeters, but I pushed the baby through this much. So I know that Diva Cup is, I know my pussy can handle the Diva Cup. So that was one of the things that I was worried about, but I am not worried about that anymore. Um, 
and um trying to think what else was i nervous about or worried about i think that was it spillage was really my number one thing um And then I was thinking about, ooh, what if it goes up too far? But then your vagina only goes so far. So it's not like it's going to wander off into your body and you're never going to be able to find it. It's in your vagina. Um, your vagina is not that deep. Um, from what I've learned about the female anatomy, um, it's a lot of false information out there um, floating around that even adults are repeating and um it gives the vagina a bad name um men out there think that they can loosen a girl's walls um because they're so well endowed like unless your unless your dick is the size of a baby you're not wearing anybody's walls out you're not you're not you're not tearing anything up like but that's a whole nother video. We talk about the Diva Cup right now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I was scared of. And I don't think so. I think those were my only two points that I was scared of. Um, I think I talked about why I wanted to try the Diva Cup. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to do a follow-up video and tell you. And it's going to be a graphic video. Because I'm going to tell you what the fuck happened. If it's, I mean, if I don't get into the graphics you're not gonna know and if it works for me i would want other women to try the diva cup and take the take the um the power back um in your vagina and i'm gonna tell you how i felt um my normal flow and my normal cycle um is usually about at the shortest two days at the longest four days so my menstrual cycle has really always been like a short cycle i've never gone to like a week or um anything like that um the flow before having avi my flow was um pretty consistent it was um not a not a heavy flow after i had avi it seemed like it got a little heavier i don't know if having a baby played any part in that I don't know, but um, that's the flow change. I um, ended up getting a heavier flow after having Ivy. Um, but yeah, for the long, for my longest period is four days. So I'm gonna be keeping track of everything, how I feel. Um, usually before my period, I bloat. Um, yeah, I bloat. I eat a lot at night i don't know if that's just me being a fat ass or if that has anything i do think it has to do with my period because it's times like right before my period where it's almost like my body is like all right bitch give me sugar give me give me chocolate give me you know so um i'm gonna document all that stuff because i want to know if this if this small thing shit if this small thing has a, an effect on, you know, uh, my emotions, um, my health, how I'm feeling mentally, physically, um, am I sluggish? Am I bloating? Am I um, cramping? Um, cramping is a big thing. Cramping, I usually, before... Um, I think your period changes after you have a baby. So I'm going to always say before and after Avi. Before Avi, um, cramps, I knew when my period was coming on because it's like, er, er, okay, bitch, you know, you got about an hour and a half before, bitch, I start flowing all over the place. Now, after Avi, I can't gauge. I can't, I got to always be prepared because now ain't no warning. It's like, bitch, I'm here. What's up? So yeah i need to know if all of that plays into my tampon use or my pad use um for the past i want to say six months i've been alternating so if i did tampons which i did temp i did pads last month so tampons was the month before i was trying to you know find a balance because i know shoving this fucking cotton stick in my pussy is not healthy 
but at the same time i don't want a fucking i don't want to be sitting in my own blood that shit feels disgusting it it is it's a terrible feeling um blood once blood hits air that's where the smell comes from um it's not like a it's not a it's not a like a stank it's not a stank but it's like a it smells like iron it smells like iron and it smells like old iron so that's a problem because i don't feel like that's healthy for your vagina to be sitting on that and i don't care how much you change your pad like it's you're gonna be sitting on blood and i feel like that's just not healthy but those were my only options or i could just sit over a hole and just drain but i don't have that kind of time so i um yeah i chose to alternate trying to see if that would help um what other woes have i had with them with tampons um vaginal dryness um your vagina is not supposed to be dry it's not supposed to be super wet but it's not supposed to be dry and during my period um you're supposed to feel moisture because it's blood coming out of there and when you have on a tampon i'm not feeling no moisture i'm feeling like this tampon is pulling every bit of moisture everything out of there and i know that's not healthy i know that's not healthy so that's why i kind of want to stray away and i'm hoping that this is the answer i'm hoping the diva cup is the answer i'm hoping um menstrual cups are the answer um and another thing this diva cup is clear it doesn't have any color to it color and fragrance that's another thing these pads have fragrances and chemicals and all kind of shit on there i've never bought fragrance um tampons or pads because who the hell is smelling my pad or my tampon why do i need it to be um to have a fragrance it's gonna end up smelling like blood anyway so that shit is just some extra bullshit for no reason um i don't think anything scented is supposed to go to, down in your vagina that summer's eve that passion blossom um those those um cotton candy sprays and those all that all that bullshit your pussy supposed to smell like pussy okay it's supposed to smell like pussy it's not supposed to smell like f um freaking fruits and 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 flowers and daisies and roses and lavender it's supposed to smell like pussy pussy smells good okay healthy pussy smells good doesn't smell like if it smells like flowers or smells like something you can buy out of a scent you can buy out of the store that shit is sick that shit is sick pussy smells like pussy so stop believing stop listening to men talking about oh her pussy smells like this that and a the third they don't even they wash their dicks with palm olive okay stop taking um vaginal advice from men they don't know shit okay and a lot of women don't either a lot of women don't know shit so keep that in mind pussy smells like pussy okay we're grown-ups now we're not teenagers we're not trying to smell like um love spell okay we're grown clean pussy is, is it smells amazing it smells amazing so stop trying to make it smell like flowers and peach passion and love spell and all of that like it's 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 not gonna happen so um yeah so keep the fragrances away from your vagina um yeah so it's a lot of stuff with pads and tampons i'm just not feeling and hopefully the diva cup can ease my ease my anxiety when it comes to the health of my vagina um my vagina is important to me i love her she loves me back so i want to take um good care of her because i need her to last for a while um i need her to be healthy um because i plan on doing a lot of fucking when i'm older so i need her to be working i need her to be working these tampons i don't need these things drying me out 
and I got powder pussy at 40. Like, no, no. So, um, and I know what you eat and what you drink and all of that helps and it's important, but those pads and those tampons, I feel like they are detrimental to your vaginal health. So I'm gonna do this um, review. Like I said, my period usually lasts about four days. So I'm gonna document it from uh, beginning to end. So other women who are like me and know that pads and tampons are unhealthy for your pussy. Um, yeah, we can move on to something better and have healthier, wetter, <laughs> um, natural smelling vaginas. So, um, yeah, look forward to that video. Peace and love. I don't know.